Present Yourself, a short nonprofit guide to Microsoft PowerPoint. As a nonprofit organization, on many occasions you're expected to present your mission, vision, and actions. Basically, speak about what you do and how you do it. Be at a meeting with future donors, other NGOs that you might create a partnership with, members of your local community who you haven't met yet and with whom you'd wish to establish a good relationship. Whomever you're meeting with, they will appreciate you taking the time to prepare a presentation, a good one. People experience the world with senses, so adding another, sight, to your narrative will certainly help them understand and help you make an impact. When you present live and want to keep your king of the hill position, make sure to design your presentation so that it supports and not dominates over your narrative. However, if your presentation is meant to be uploaded only on your website, it should speak for itself. You should also make it accessible for people with disabilities. Read on how to do it on the Microsoft website. In both cases, Microsoft PowerPoint can do the job. Let's assume you've already thought about how to build your narrative. You have your contents, it's logical, and you know what you want to say. Your only concern is how to show it. Well, that's how to think about your PowerPoint template. A template may include your organization's logo, colors, or any other feature you choose. Basically, it's a framework for every presentation and proves you're professional and a serious partner. To see how a personalized template is built, go to View in the menu bar and select Slide Master. You'll see master layouts for your slides, title and content slides, section header slides, and others. Pay attention to the section header slides. They are often forgotten. As much as possible, try to avoid bullet points on every slide. Tailor-made slide layouts can be created as well. To do that, press the Insert Layout button and add a new layout. You can create a new layout that meets your expectations. Try to be reasonable and limit the number of options though. Okay, let's go back to creating your own theme. Layouts can be filled in with your own designs or alternatively, you can personalize one of the many available themes which can be found on the Microsoft website or just Google them. But be careful about the copyrights and just add your branding to one of them. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Still, Many people are tired of constantly watching the same themes, however good-looking they might be. Consider creating your own theme background using shapes and different format options or pictures you've taken yourself or Googled. We recommend using content available under Creative Commons licenses. To get even more sophisticated, you can download a new font, for example, from openfontlibrary.org. Watch out and be moderate with your modifications, otherwise your slides will become unclear. The same applies to colors. Don't get too colorful. To avoid excessiveness, use predefined color sets. If you want to create your own background, go to Shapes, and after you pick one, a rectangle, go to Different Format Options. and add other shapes of your choice, for example, your logo. Don't forget to save your template. When you're done, close Master View and you're ready to go with your presentation. There is much more to PowerPoint than that. Videos and audio files can be added to each presentation elements may get animated, etc. Feel free to explore it on your own and you'll be surprised how creative you might become using it. Remember though, that what you really want to do is impress the audience with your professionalism and logical narrative, and that less is more. Good luck.